What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today I'm going to show you on how to set up map bounce. Basically, if the player goes out of this bounce, it will get a warning, and if it doesn't return, he will die. <laughs> it's going to be a very easy way to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is go ahead and right click in our content browser and go to blueprint class and create a new actor. This will be bp underscore bounce, so go ahead and open this up. So this will be the object itself, like the wall that will detect the collision. And if so, activate the warning. And if it doesn't return in a couple of seconds, he will die. Um, so right on here, what we'll do is add a component. In this case, it's going to be a box collision. Let's go ahead and enter. Now, of course, you can put whatever um, type of shape. It will fit you better for your level. But in most cases, a box will work. So I'm going to change the name into just um, I'm going to be bounce uh, trigger because it will act as a trigger because you will be able to go through, but uh, it will you know, have an event into it. Now, I think that you can do is in order to not have that your pr uh, player will be able to go through and wait a few seconds to have a warning and it's directly like a wall with a collision that he can't walk anymore. You can just go into the collision presets and set this to block all. Like that, your player will not be able to go through and it's a quick way of doing so, but the cool way is to, you know, say you're out of bounds and a delay and you die, all these things. Anyway, so now we'll go into the on component begin overlap. And right over here, when I get other actor and cast to the third person character or whatever um, you know, blueprint character you're using. Basically, if it is our third person character, that means, or your blueprint character, that means that it is the player. So we're gonna go ahead and make a new variable, and this will be in, well, basically out of bounds. And it will be a Boolean. So now, in here, we'll set it to be true. And then what we'll do is get the bounce trigger again, select it in the components, go down, and go in on component and overlap. So now when the player goes out, again, we'll be checking that it is the player, not any other object, and just plug it in other actor, remember that. And then again, copy paste this out of bounds, but now it will be disabled. So go ahead and disable that, out of bounds is false. Great, so now if we go into our map and basically drag it in, you'll see what they have with uh, this box. And we can start going ahead and scaling it. Now the thing is that, it is kind of hard to see because it's a kind of small outline and we can not really see a lot of stuff and um, so there are a few things that we can do first of all we can increase the line thickness as you can see it will make it kind of bigger that's a cool thing but a better option is to go inside the bounce trigger and add a cube and now this cube will fill in the area of the bounce i believe um it's a bit bigger uh so let's just go ahead and move it and make it a bit smaller so this is just a kind of us to see how big the bounce will be so it doesn't have to be exact of course uh, let's put the location zero zero and what we can do is just set this material to be kind of, of a transparent material i don't know if it automatically has one in the engine with the started content it should maybe if i search for a glass i should uh, have something there we go we can have like a this glass over here uh, or maybe another one which is a bit better. Basically, this will work. Uh, basically, like a transparent material, right? Um, so we'll have actually start a glass thing here. This will work, right? And then it's very important we go into the cube and say that it will have no collision, and then go and go into hidden in game and enable this. So when we press play, we'll not see this. And this is a way of you seeing the bounce. Now, glass is not the best uh, material, as you can see, will be better of like a red. Uh, transparent material something like that to see but it will work for us so let's go ahead and just put it for example right here so if i go through this ramp and um, basically will be out of bounds you can make it as tall as you want and stuff uh, so what we can do is just to check that everything is working is print here uh, hello string so if i now press play uh, you will see that one load if i go through here of course first of all we don't see the bounce there we go you can see that was printing hello in the top left corner so that's working and so now what we have to do is activate the widgets so let's go here right click go into um user interface widget blueprint 
YouTube with it. It will be WB underscore, and this will be out of uh, bounds. And let's uh, go ahead and enable this. Let's go ahead and have a canvas panel. Put this here, and then we'll just gonna get a text. Put it in the center, so in the anchors, and put the position X and Y in zero zero. Now in alignment, let's put this in 0.5, 0.5, so it's exactly at the center. And now what we can do is put here in the text out of bounds, and then uh, we can just go into the font, and in here in size we can put this like in 50, something like that. Uh, and then the, the alignment put it at the center. So now we'll be perfectly. In the middle, as you can see, you can also change the size X and Y so it fits this, so it's properly placed. And that's pretty much it. You can customize as you want. I'm gonna make a quicker, a quick thing here. So now, with that done, we can just go back into our bounce thing. And when it, this is done, we can just say create widget. And then in our case, we'll select the one that we have just created, which is uh, out of bounds, which is here. And the return value is right click, promote it to a variable. This will be um, this widget. We're gonna call it widget because there will not be any more widgets in this blueprint. So in this case, we're gonna just do it like that. We'll get this and add it into the viewport. So it will be in the player screen. Uh, so now you will see that if I press play and go over here, you will see out of bounds. So everything is working. Now, when you go out, what we'll have to do is get a widget and just to make sure that there will be no errors, just right click and go into get validate, get. So only if it's valid, just in case. And now we can just say remove uh, from parent. And then lastly, go ahead and set the widget to be false. So it will be empty game, ready to be reused. And that should be it. So now, for example, let me just go here. We'll see that the out of bounds text will appear. And you can see that it is <laughs> instantly disappearing. And it's because, let me just go here. Uh, this is very, you know, very thin. So I was going and exiting again. So you will need to basically fill up a whole area, basically, uh, pretty much until, uh, for, for example, we'll have a countdown, right? Right when you enter, we have a time. So you kind of have to calculate that that time, uh, the player will not be able to reach the other point that time and he will die, he will die first. Right, you, you get it. So now out of bounds, you can see I enter, but now when I go here, it will be out. Anyway, so now what I have to do is a countdown. And really, we're gonna do anything fancy, whatever. I do have a, a kind of more advanced countdowns tutorial, so I wanna check that out. But uh, what I'm going to do is as simple as just make a delay. <laughs> so right on here, I say a delay, and let's put, for example, three seconds. And right when uh, three seconds has passed, we're gonna make sure that we are still inside, uh, well, sorry, outside of bounds. If if we are still outside of bounds, we'll go ahead and uh, get this player, right? Cast into this player. We already did this, so wait, and then apply damage, and the player should die. So if we go here, we just play, for example, a really large number of, of, of damage, and he will just die. But if not, if we exit it, this will not happen because we're already out of bounds, so everything should be good. So you will see what happens. I mean, first of all, uh, we have to make sure that our player has something when he receives damage. I do have a health tutorial, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, uh, you can do so. Okay, I'll be linked in the description. Uh, but we can just quickly go into third person blueprints and go into the third person get to blueprint, go into the event graph and just go into event any damage. I believe already, I know, okay. And then what we're going to do is just go ahead and just uh, destroy this actor. I do have, like I mentioned before, an actual health system tutorial, so I want to take that, go ahead. But in my case, I will just go ahead and destroy it. Um, so now if I enter, which I need to exit and enter because I spawn inside. So when you are, I'm out of bounds and I stay a bit, it was three seconds, there we go, I died. But if I manage to enter and exit real quick, you'll see that nothing will happen to me. So I'm totally fine. If you want, you can go ahead and add a Rakdo, um, which I will do real quick. Uh, simulate physics. I do have a tutorial on this, so you want a better explanation of what I'm doing here. Go ahead and check that out. But overall, and then set this to be physics actor, and that will work. Um, yeah, sorry about the phone. And now we can just go and get the capsule component. And then, uh, well, you don't have to do anything, just go into the capsule component, make sure that is set to ignore only power. And now, yes, with that said, 
We can go here to the ramp, out of bounds, and we stay. Come on. <laughs> there we go, we died. Uh, so that's it, guys. If you found the tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials and videos, so you know, go ahead and check them out. Also, go ahead and join my Discord server and follow me on my socials, Twitter and Instagram. Now, just pull outside. Bye bye.